Will there be a presidential debate next month? Once again, that's uncertain. It is. Doug Zader live for us in Washington with more on this. Doug, good morning. Good morning. Based on the social media post, there are new questions about whether this debate uh, is going to happen on September 10th. And behind the scenes, apparently, there's some wrangling over the ground rules. With Kamala Harris's ascension to the Democratic nomination now complete, the next big event was supposed to be on September 10th, a debate between Harris and Trump broadcast by ABC. But this morning, new questions, with Trump posting on Truth Social, and I ask, why would I do the debate against Kamala Harris on that network? Yes, he will oftentimes... Trump referenced yesterday's ABC show this week, suggesting ABC insiders would favor Harris. They've got a lot of questions to answer, he wrote. Why did Harris turn down Fox, NBC, CBS, and even CNN? Stay tuned. It's a stark turnaround from just last week when Trump talked about debates in a phone interview during the Democratic National Convention. I don't like ABC. I think ABC is probably the worst of the group, but I'm willing to do ABC. I was willing to do CNN with uh, Joe Biden, and you saw what happened there. He's, what he's telling you is simply not true. And in fact, that debate with Biden is a reminder of how important these events can be. It led to Biden's ouster from the race. Meantime, we still don't know any details about a sit-down interview Harris promised to do by the end of the month, her first since entering the race. She has committed to at least doing one major interview by the end of uh, this month, so that's basically over the next week. But how many more is she going to do? Now, we mentioned there's a, a, a kind of a, a debate about the ground rules for the debate. In that first presidential debate, the one between Biden and Trump, remember, Biden wanted the mics muted. If you weren't speaking, your microphone hmm. was turned off. Now everything has reversed. Um, the, 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 the Trump team wants to go with those same rules, those same ground rules from the CNN debate. The Harris team wants to have the mics on all the time. Uh, so, so when it comes down to those details, uh, they are not in agreement at this point, and there are real questions, uh, Brooke and Bob, over whether this debate's even going to happen. Mm. And, you know, Doug, it's interesting. I, I feel like the reality is we kind of saw this coming. It's been so up in the air, really, on both sides, that we were never really sure a debate was going to happen. And, and that was true when it was Trump-Biden mm -hmm. as well. I mean, this is the, this is the issue when you have the, the Commission on Presidential Debates essentially taken out of the equation. Uh -huh. um, these things have to be debated, uh, debated, discussed, <laughs> agreed to between the two campaigns without any kind of third-party arbiter. Do you know uh, exactly, Doug, when early voting starts? Because it's possible people could already start voting before any debate even happens or even a sit-down interview with Vice President Harris. Well, it's definitely going to going to be there will definitely be voting before the VP debate or not, debate on October 1st. Um, it, it's it's state by state, as you know, but we look at one of the most critical states out there, Pennsylvania. Early voting there starts September 16th. Wow. That's just six days after this debate or excuse me, I think it's on the sixth. Yes, yeah, just six days after this uh, this uh, first debate, if wow. it happens. Interesting. OK, Douglas Air Life for us in Washington. We appreciate your insight. Thank you so much.